Russian interference in Ukraine's presidential election is less a concern than an expectation, according to the SBU State Security Service. It says cyber attacks have already occurred and has war-gamed scenarios, including attacks on government ministry websites and the Central Election Commission. Media outlets are another obvious target. The news channel ATR broadcasts from Kiev, aimed at the mostly anti-Russian Muslim Tatar population of occupied Crimea. Staff say there are frequent efforts to disrupt communications. But it is the editor-in-chief himself, a former Russian journalist and popular blogger, who seems to be a person of particular interest. Kremlin trolls constantly report my posts on Facebook and they block my account. Facebook is literally full of pro-Russian accounts which carry disinformation about Ukraine. That the country is a failure, that power should be changed, that everything should be changed. It's not the first time that Facebook stands accused. Critics say the social media network did not do enough to prevent manipulation of the 2016 U.S. presidential election. In a statement on Ukraine, Facebook said, We recently removed a network of Facebook and Instagram accounts for engaging in coordinated, inauthentic behavior as part of a network that originated in Russia and operated in Ukraine. Not everyone agrees with the anti-Russian narrative. Some see the hand of the Ukrainian state at work instead. 90% of what people call Russian influence is internal machinations of the Ukrainian government, cementing its position based on creating hysteria and paranoia. MP Svetlana Salichuk sits on the Foreign Affairs Committee in Ukraine's parliament. I think that Russia influence is still very big, both in Ukraine but also in the world. Here in Ukraine we see that they are playing gas card still. Also they are supporting with Russian money one of the political forces, one of the presidential candidates. But also they are playing a big card in EU by uh, stimulating some of the countries to be on their side. The truth may be a question of perspective, but the results, old friendship ties severed, seem impossible to reverse. Laura Frickberg, Al Jazeera.